Hello everybody, Michael Hoffman here. Today I want to discuss a two-stroke roll and a three-stroke roll. Now, growing up back in the 60s, they taught me, 1960s, excuse me, they taught me um, to hold my drumstick, uh, my left hand like this, and you use your fingers to guide it up and down. And on the right hand, they taught me this grip where it's pivoting in your thumb and forefinger and your bottom fingers are helping it up and down also. It worked out great. Unfortunately, it's not the best technique. Uh, there's a new technique out for many years now called the Moeller. M-O-E-L-L-E-R. And I discovered it just a couple of days ago and I said, oh my God, that's much better. So, let me show you the difference. Two-stroke roll, old-fashioned way. Each stick bounces two times. And notice my fingers on my right hand are bringing up the stick. hear that the two beats they're sort of like muffled they're not ringing you know it's a forced beat the rebound doesn't sound good and on my left hand you'll see my fingers working it too two beats to each stick My speed in single hands isn't that great, but when you put them together, it gets a little faster. You'll see. Here we go. as fast as I can go. All right, so that's not bad. Sounds okay. But now with the molar, I'm going to do a two-stroke roll, and then I'm going to show you my three-stroke roll, which is amazing. <laughs> two-stroke now. Instead of the fingers on the bottom of my right hand helping bring up the stick, you're just pivoting in the thumb and, and forefinger. That's all you're using. And it's a whipping motion. You whip your stick down, and on the upbeat, it hits a second beat. So it's quite different than the uh, original grips that I've had. So you, you're just going like this, but you're sort of whipping your wrist. Two beats. The left hand, I normally would use the two fingers here and this finger to guide it like that. And it pivots on the thumb and forefinger. But now it's just the thumb, which is crazy. Watch. It's the whip, remember. Like that. Notice these two fingers are not on top. Just the thumb pivoting. Two beats, just like before. Here we go. Now, 
Now let's put that together. This will be the molar two-stroke roll. Now with that effort, I could do that for many, many minutes. It's, it's not a strain on me. And it even sounds better. But now, when I learned that, I, I kept uh, doing more lessons and I found out I can do a three-stroke roll, which is unheard of in, in my day. So this is how we do it. It's the same grip with a little whip. And you're going to hear a triplet, a, a three note for each stick. This was a two-stroke with the whip. Now I'm going to make it do three notes. Hear it? Da -da 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 -da. It's a triplet. Let me slow it down. The down beat is the first beat and then when you're coming back up you hit two more on a rebound. Now I'm going to speed it up one-handed, just pivoting on my thumb and forefinger. It's just an amazing way of doing it with a little whip. Three notes, three beats. Do the left hand. Again, we're going to just pivot mainly with the thumb, no two fingers on top, actually, it's just free floating. The bottom two fingers are just keeping it from going any lower. It's not really rebounding it. So, here we go. Before we were doing a two note like this. Da -da 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 -da. Now I'm going to roll it so it does a three note. Da -da -da -da. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Again, one hit down, two notes back up, two beats back up. Ba -ba. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. These two fingers are out of the way now. Now, we'll put it together. Here goes a three-stroke roll. Muller uh, method. in a three-stroke roll with less effort and it even sounds tighter and better, faster. Thanks for watching.